Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa is introducing legislation on Capitol Hill that would change the date Memorial Day is observed to May 30th instead of the last Monday in May. She says the three-day weekend has become more about celebrating the beginning of summer than remembering those who fought for our country. Now, at KITV.com, most people were against the idea. Andrea Wagner says, quote, useless. Sounds like a useless bill. Surely there are more important actions that would be needed. Now, Congresswoman is here in our studio. It's her first live interview since officially announcing for her run for the U.S. Senate against Senator Brian Schatz. Good morning, and thank you so much for Good joining morning. us. And Congresswoman, I just got a tweet this morning. I wanted to read it to you. Uh, Alan LaCritt said, I'm all good with this. So a lot of opinions this morning about this. So what do you have to say about the a little bit of controversy that it's caused? Well, the idea was that we have the discussion. And what people should realize is that May 30th was the day after the Civil War, that this was called Decoration Day. And it was in 1968 when there was a law passed to create Monday holidays, and Memorial Day got caught up in that. And then it became the Monday. So it's, it's really a, a matter of, of, of a concern. Actually, it was Senator Inouye's concern. And what people may not know is that since 1989, he's introduced it. And uh, he's always had the support of many of the veterans groups because it's the remembrance of the day. Like, people would not accept, I believe, 4th of July as the first Monday in July. It's, it's the 4th of July, or Christmas is December 25th. You know, or New Year's is January 1. So it really is a day that when they started after the Civil War was to honor not only the veterans but, but especially those who gave that ultimate uh, sacrifice who, who died in well, the service of this great country. It'll be interesting to see if it can get a hearing for this bill. Let's, let's talk about same-sex sure. marriage and, mm -hmm. and you've changed your position over the years. Originally you were supportive of, of marriage between a man and a woman and now you're supportive of marriage equality. Was yes. it difficult coming to this decision and can you explain it? No, you know, it, it's, it's something that I think that, you know, I was in the Hawaii State Legislature when we did civil unions, for example. We didn't, we were able to pass it and it got vetoed and it was, uh, it was not able to, to receive the sufficient number of, of votes. But the, the it, it is something that I believe that the people have come to accept that same-sex marriage or marriage equality as it is now uh, referred to, that this that everyone should have the same rights. And so I, th I believe that at the time when the, in, in 1998, I believe is when we had the constitutional amendment, and it really left it up to the legislature. People thought that we banned same-sex marriage, mm -hmm. but we did not. When we passed that constitutional amendment, it was to provide the legislature with the right to define what marriage was. And then the legislature had a pre-existing bill that said that marriage was reserved between a man and a woman. So I, I think that as you see, all the discussions was before the United States Supreme Court, the two cases, one DOMA, uh, whether or not the repeal, DOMA should be repealed, and, is, uh, and the other, of course, Prop 8 in California, you can see the trend. And you can also understand that our society and our nation has come to that agreement. And, and, so a, well. and a lot of other politicians exactly. are changing their Even position. the president. Uh, really quickly, uh, Brian Schatz, in terms of campaign spending, uh, he, he has about a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Are you still at about 250000 How do you plan to uh, make up the difference over you know, time? It, it is going to be a matter of, of raising the money, but it's, uh, this is a, uh, also a different kind of election as well. Hawaii's elections, this is going to be a Democratic, non-presidential primary, and it's also one that you know that the people feel very strongly about. They, I, you know, I tell people, I go by the, uh, what I call the parking lot indicator, so when I run into uh, a Long's or run into a supermarket and come out, there isn't a time that someone doesn't stop me to talk to me about this election. Well, certainly they're going to be talking about this election yes, no yes. matter what. Well, Congresswoman Clean Hanabus, we really appreciate your time you Thank stopping you. here this morning. And thanks Thank for the you. discussion. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of comments on Facebook. And uh, you can definitely comment on those. And uh, still ahead, we have a recap of our top morning headlines.